Afternoon there, my name is Martin. I'm a senior authorised engineer for Northern Power Grid. I've been with the company 23 years. Um, do a lot of LV operation, HV operation, my day-to-day -day duties. And just like to say today really about um, the incident that we've, um, me and my colleague have encountered at a, at a substation, just doing some routine LV switching. Something that happens probably um, thousands of times a day on the, on the network in the company. Hello, my name is Anthony Carraz. I've been with Northern Power Grid for just shy of two and a half years. I'm part of the graduate intake and I've uh, been enjoying my time in the company and progressing well. Um, just some routine switching um, with my, my manager, um, Martin Wallington. It, uh, it was a, a job that we've, we've talked about, planned. We've done a lot of jobs like it. It's a routine job. We were <clears throat> operating an LV board, obviously. There's a lot of conversation, a lot of dialogue between the two of us, just to make sure I was comfortable and he was comfortable with me. Uh, I'd already operated the blue fuse on the board, uh, absolutely fine, didn't feel bad. And operating the yellow, uh, that's when everything lit up in front of me. Uh, it's, uh, at the moment it happens, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's very well, it's confusing, but it's just, you have no idea what's happened because it was so... Um, routine, there was no difference between operating the blue fuse to the yellow fuse. Uh, it came out well, no resistance, it's just an absolute routine operation. Um, totally an unremarkable situation and everything lit up and it's, you know, when you're asking how the performance of the uh, overalls and our new PPE did, you know, it's, it's nice to know that if you have to rely on it, which you don't want to, you know, you expect you never want to have to use it in your whole career, but if push comes to shove, it uh, it does the job, and um, hopefully you'll get to see get to see some of my overalls, uh, my log book. So you can see that there, but it's taken a blast where this section's been out of my pocket, and this part here is absolutely fine. The job was just some routine LV switching uh, in preparation for doing some um, some checks on the on the network after a fault repair. Again, just um, just day to day switching. Tony's under my supervision, working on the LV board, um, and um, we've gone through his pre-checks. Everything's fine, and uh, the next thing I know, I'm sort of laying outside the substation on my hands and knees, trying to trying to get away. Um, there's this noise which I can't describe. That's coming out of the substation with the smoke. Um, Tony's inside, and the, the worst thing for me was thinking. Um, is not going to come out of this situation. It were like I said, it would, it would, it would terrifying. So it would just, I, I don't know. I'd like to say, you know, without the, like, without the PPE um, and probably our method of working, how we set ourselves up, um, things could have been a lot worse. So as it happens, we're, we're, we're both fine um, to a degree on a, on a, on a sort of mental scale, um, but. Um, there were a point where I thought he's not going to come out of this uh, this substation, and that's really what stuck with me short term. Well, we just completed 11 kV cable repair, and we were getting ready to phase out the LV to make sure the repair was done appropriately and it was correct. So we just just put a set of links in and a link box nearby. We're in the substation um, to put the open point into that sub ready for our phase checks at a later point and I was operating the LV board with uh, Martin supervising me he was just stood to my side uh, near near to the exit just just making sure that I was doing what I should be doing uh, I pulled out the blue fuse and chose that first because it was easy for me then to check that I had an incoming supply you know Martin said you know fine with that carry on with uh, the next fuse which was the yellow so absolutely no difference. My approach was the same as before. Uh, I had a good hold of the fuse, felt fine, loosened it off, pulled it out, got it out, and almost immediately things went up. It uh, it's quite a shock at first. You you just it's a it's just smoke and fire or bright arc. Uh, Martin reacted very quickly, he could tell it wasn't right and he just, he just shouted to run 
as he's doing that, obviously you're stepping away a bit from the board and I'm looking to him and thankfully I can see he's turning but he's, he's just stumbled on his exit and I'm now, I'm thinking I'm not sure whether I can, can get to there and I'm not going to stand in front of the board so I hid behind the, uh, the switch gear, I took shelter there that's where I left the yellow fuse, I'd held it all that time and then Martin, it was as quick as anything, he was up on his feet took a deep breath and I bolted for it and got out as well and I think the worst part of the, the sort of situation is um, how routine it was but secondly knowing that you know Martin, Martin for that short time which for him felt like an eternity he, uh, he, he thought I was in there and I was, I was not, never going to come out so it's uh, all for the sake of a routine job. It's it's good that um, the PP we had has done its job. It's protected me from getting splattered to my to my lower jaw. It stopped me from receiving burns to my leg. It was light, quick, and easy to move in. I mean, we move quick, and it let us move quick. So it's just just to you know reinforce that although it's routine and you know you think you're going to be fine, this this board failed on us. Uh, and we, were, we were just following procedure, operating it appropriately. Nothing unremarkable about this substation, just like a lot of others we have out there. So just, just think twice and you know, make sure you stop and pause and you get your PPE on.